Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to unroot your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. Maybe you installed a custom ROM, you messed up, you need to go back to stock firmware. Maybe you rooted your phone, no longer receiving OTA updates then you can use this method to update to the latest stock firmware. Or maybe you're returning your phone for a warranty, you wanna get it back to stock firmware, then you can do this. All right, enough talking, let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, first thing you will need to do is make a backup of everything in your phone, just in case, all right? Once you're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and check the model number of your S7 or S7 Edge. Now this will work on all of the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge models. Go into settings and go into about device and go ahead and scroll up and you should see your model number. All right, mine is an SMG935F. This is an international version of S7 Edge. If you have like a T-Mobile, it's an SMG935T. Make a note of uh, what model number it is. And also if you're using an international version, just make a note of what carrier you use and what country um, you're from, all right? That's what you'll need to know. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and power off the phone. So go ahead and hold down the power button power off. Next, we're going to go ahead and put it into Odin download mode. The same on all of the Samsung phones. Go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and the power. Hold it down until you see a warning screen like that and let go of all the buttons. Go ahead and hit volume up. This will put you into Odin download mode. That's what we call it. And we're going to go ahead and connect it to your computer uh, via a micro USB cable. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and use a computer. Um, if you're using Windows, you're good to go. Uh, this does require Windows. If you're gonna use Mac or Linux, go ahead and run Windows inside something like VMware, all right? Otherwise, go ahead and borrow your friend's Windows computer. Uh, that's my recommendation method. All right, um, you will need a bunch of files. You'll need this Odin3 uh, blah blah dot zip. That's the Odin program. You also need Samsung USB drivers. Um, if you rooted before using my method, you probably have it installed, but download it anyways, just in case you don't have it. And also you'll need the stock firmware, All right? I made, um, if you go to my site, galaxyS7root.com, you will see uh, there's a Galaxy S7 Edge stock firmware and also Galaxy S7 stock firmware. Now, as of this video, there's actually not that many stock firmware, um, only T-Mobile for the US models and also all the international models. Not all of them are uh, available, but this is for the S7 Edge. Since I'm using a Galaxy S7 Edge, I'm gonna go to the Galaxy S7 Edge stock firmers. Also, you can go to other sites that have stock firmers if you don't see it on my site, all right? I just try to organize it on my site because it's my site, all right? <laughs> so if you have a T-Mobile Galaxy S7 Edge, you'll download this one. Um, since I have an SMG935F, I got this on eBay and I really don't care what country it is. You can actually install any firmware. So I just downloaded a random, uh, I think I downloaded a Switzerland version. All right, so that's what I downloaded. Go ahead and download it there. Uh, I've got it downloaded here. So go ahead and double click it and extract all of the files. All right. And let that extract. All right, while that's extracting, um, go ahead and also double click on Odin3 blah blah dot zip and extract this also. Um, this will give you a folder called Odin3 v3.10.6. All right, go ahead and double click on uh, the Odin3 v3.16.0 and you should see a blue highlighted com sign. If you don't see it, um, that means you don't have proper drivers installed. Um, so go ahead and install drivers. I'm actually using a USB hub. I actually don't recommend it, but um, now I've actually switched it from my second computer and now you'll see this uh, blue highlighted box with a random com number now this com number doesn't matter uh, and also my my 4k laptop is uh, actually showing it like super small just due to the resolution here so my file has uh, unzipped here now some usually there's only one tar.md5 if you only see one file then what you'll do is choose AP and choose that file but since we have a bunch of different ones, AP, BL, CP, CSC, and Home, we're gonna have to flash them all in these categories. So BL, AP, CP, CSC. BL, AP, CP, CSC. All right, I don't think you actually have to flash the Home. Um, you should be good to go. So go ahead and flash 
these first four files. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, and choose BL. Go to my downloads folder. I'm gonna go into the folder where I unzip all the files. I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, the BL, the file starting in BL. Hit open. All right, and that will load on there. I'm gonna choose AP. I'm gonna choose AP there. That's the most important file. All right. BL and CP are bootloaders, basically. You don't actually have to flash it, um, usually, unless you're actually upgrading to another bootloader. But I'm gonna show you, uh, as an example, is as if you're upgrading to a newer uh, firmware. Also, like I said, you can use this method to upgrade your stock firmware into the newer one if you're rooted and you no longer can receive OK updates. All right, this will take a while. It's actually checking the MD5, um, making sure the file is valid. All right, when that's done, we're gonna choose CP and also choose the file starting in CP, blah, blah, dot, tar dot MD5. All right, when that's done, we're gonna go ahead and choose CSC. We're gonna choose a CSC, blah, blah, uh, the file. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hit start and this will start installing the firmware. All right, go ahead and hit start. And you will see uh, it's doing the boot at the left, recovery, now it's doing the system. That's the actual system, and you can see it's installing. So give it about five minutes. Uh, when it's done, it's gonna automatically reboot, and it's gonna unroot you back to uh, stock firmware. Now, since I'm already on stock firmware, it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna erase anything on my phone. Um, I'm not, sh I'm, I think my phone is actually from Saudi Arabia or something. By doing this, it will actually change my model number to uh, the model country code into um, Switzerland, which won't matter because all the Samsung firmers, they actually support all the countries anyways. So it actually doesn't really matter which country you uh, flash most of the time. Give it about five minutes and we'll come back after like uh, some coffee here. Alright guys, as you can see, Odin has passed and my phone has rebooted as you can see here. Alright, if you see this, um, you should be good to go. Now you should be on completely back to stock firmware. So it actually erased everything. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign in here. Oh my god, that took forever. I'm gonna go into gallery, um, see if I, ooh. So I lost pretty much everything on my phone. So just be aware, this will erase everything on your phone. Uh, make a backup before you do it. All right, but everything is pretty much uh, back to zero. Also using a stock firmware will not uh, increase your NOx counter. I don't think I actually rooted this yet. Let's go ahead and find out real quick. You'll see that I've still got Samsung official, uh, everything official. So it does not uh, increase your NOx counter and you can see warranty void, it's still zero. Go uh, zero. So this method is safe. You'll be able to keep your Samsung pay. If anything goes wrong, uh, you can use this method to update your phone. And thanks guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, Instagram, Periscope. If there's any video you want me to do, do let me know in the comments. And as always, stay on and fly. Click here to subscribe.